everybody, my name is Cynthia and welcome to my space where everything is tickety-boo. It's been a little while. Um, it, it, I haven't been able to work, but I've been taking this class, so a lot of my time has been spent doing that. So again, as you know, if you've seen any of my other videos, everything I do is basically um, if a client has a question. So I had a client who was new and asking about some product and she just didn't know what to get because the product line is so huge um, and she was asking about eminence so this whole video is going to be about eminence skincare and just some very basic skincare tips um, just basically in regard to a basic routine um, I have been an esthetician now for 10 years and when I first started my business, um, I decided to go with Eminence. And it was a really big investment. Um, but I went for it and I'm really glad I did. At the time that I started with Eminence, they had their really old school line, you know, it was just their basics. And then about a year or two, maybe three years after I started with them, then they started really coming out with some amazing products really geared to anti-aging. So they've really evolved in the 10 years that I've been with them. Um, so they've got some amazing products. The difficulty is when you jump on their website and you look up moisturizers, it's every moisturizer. And I mean, they can, can, I think there's a drop down menu where you can look at it by skin type. Um, so like dry skin would have its its own category, but it's still a lot because it's a big one So we're gonna go through and break things down today by um, The anti-aging category because that's the one that's most popular right now with my clients um, And then I'll do a couple of other videos in regard to other skin conditions But today I've got my notes because if I don't have my notes as you can see I'm just can I'm gonna be able to talk for hours about this subject um, so we're going to start with some basics things that you need and my first advice to all my clients when they're trying to figure out what they want to do in terms of their skin care a couple of things to be aware of the first one and people don't think of this is your lifestyle do you have the time for multiple steps do you have the passion for multiple steps because if you don't multiple steps are just going to be too much for you. And everyone goes into getting a new skincare regimen with just such gusto and excitement and they're gonna do it, but then they end up not doing it. And then they feel guilty for buying all these products because now they've got this whole like line of, you know, 10 products that they're not even going to use. And this has borne itself out over and over again with my clients. I actually have um, a handheld microcurrent machine and one of my clients was interested in this, you know, oh, I can do it every day. Then I can come and I don't have to come here. I can, you know, I can just, you know, treat myself every single day if I wanted to. And I said, well, <laughs> let me let you borrow this machine just for a month, just to see if you can get in the groove. Cause otherwise if you purchase something, then, you don't use it, then it's a waste of money, right? Because those are two, three hundred dollar investments. Takes it home, she has it for a month, and then she comes to give it back to me, and she said, and I asked her, so how'd it go? Did you use it? And she says, not once in the entire month that she had that borrowed machine, did she ever use it? So your lifestyle and your passion about skincare is going to dictate how how big your regimen is going to be and how many steps it's going to be do we need to make it simple or do we need to or do you want more and then too you can always start with simple and as you get into the habit of simple then you add a serum or you add an extra step and you slowly incorporate those in but start small if it's not something that your lifestyle will allow you to do a lot of my clients are moms and they don't have time, you know, to do 10 steps or even five steps. By the time they're done with their day, they some of them don't even feel like 
they can wash their faces because they're so tired. So lifestyle, huge, huge, huge. And then knowing your skin type, um, then go to an esthetician to have someone actually look at your skin because there's a lot that they can tell by looking through a mag lamp. There's a lot that they can tell by feeling your skin, the texture of it. Um, for me in my clients, most of my clients are drier than they think they are. Um, and everyone thinks I'm so oily. Well, a little shine, which is normal because that's build up during the day, is fine because it's just build up. A person who's got oily skin is gonna be oily right away. Like wash your face, do your routine, and shazam, you can fry an egg on that face. That's oily at nine in the morning if you've got a grease slick going. If your oil, happens toward the end of the day, then you're probably more normal dry. Or if you have no oil, just oily shine at the end of the day, then you're definitely dry. Okay, because that's an indicator of how much oil that your skin is producing. Okay, so I, so I just went on a tangent again, so sorry. Um, so in terms of the basic skincare and products that for your regimen, I've got my notes here. So first thing you're gonna do, is cleanse your skin and there are lots of different kinds of cleansers uh, there's oil cleanser which is at my personal favorite and it's best for a first cleanse for everybody or for someone with drier skin at this point I'm recommending oil cleansers for all of my clients including my oily skin clients if you have a really good oil oil cleanser it will rinse off nicely and not leave anything behind some oil cleansers, if you have an oil cleanser that doesn't emulsify when you add water to it, just know, use a wet cloth to remove it. And that should help alleviate that issue because some of the oil cleansers out there, you apply it, you massage it in, and they don't rinse off. And that's been a big complaint of a lot of my clients. Eminence makes a really nice one that does emulsify and rinses really nicely. The thing I love about an oil cleanser is that it removes makeup including eye makeup. So great for everybody. The next one is a cream or creamy lotion type cleanser and that's really good for dry skin. That you can use as your second cleanse or your daily cleanse for someone who doesn't wear makeup. Then there's Foamy, which is a gel, well generally it's a gel cleanser. You add some water and it foams, foams up and lathers nicely. And that's great for your second cleanse or for someone with oilier skin. And then there's also exfoliating cleansers that have either a fruit enzyme, fruit acid, or scrubbies in it, like some a little bit of grit in it to exfoliate the skin. And then of course it would depend if you have more oily skin then you would want to use an ex, um, a foamy exfoliator. If you have drier skin you want to use something that's more creamy, but then again it depends on the cleanser because some Gel cleansers are actually, if they have lactic acid in them, are actually pretty hydrating. Okay, so toners. This is a big question that my clients always ask is, do I need a toner? I think that depends, right? Most people will use a toner to wipe off the excess, like um, after you cleanse your skin, remove the residue um, after the cleanse. If you're cleansing well, you shouldn't need to do that, really. In the eminence world, uh, toners are, are for hydration. They're hydrating mists. Um, and you can spray them on after you cleanse. I oftentimes will add a shot to my moisturizer just to get it to move a little bit. So the things, the ways you can use a toner are for hydration to set your mineral cosmetics, which works amazingly well because sometimes those powder um, powder cosmetics, the powder foundations get a little powdery and they don't set nicely, they just look very powdery. If you spritz some of the Eminence toner on there, it sinks into the uh, foundation, the powder, and it gets it to melt a little bit and it just gives you a nice really dewy finish and that's amazing. Um, it activates moisturizers, like I was telling you, I add it to my moisturizer to get it to move to activate it. And then you get the benefit of the toner in your skin with the moisturizer. And then it also helps us, um, to balance your pH of the, the pH of your skin and support your barrier function. 
So the skin has a, a layer on it called the acid mantle, and the acid mantle is what keeps things balanced. If you, if the balance gets tipped either way, then you can cause skin issues like acne, you can have breakouts. So what a P, everything should be pH balanced that you're using, right? So a toner will bring your skin back to its natural pH after a cleanse, especially if you're using a foamy cleanser, because a foamy cleanser will remove a little bit more oil from your skin. So we want to maintain that barrier, your barrier function. Um, the barrier, the acid mantle has good bacteria in it and bad bacteria, but if there's more of the good bacteria and the, the barrier is supporting that good bacteria, then it keeps the bad bacteria down. Okay. So exfoliation. Another question my clients always have is how many times a week should I exfoliate my skin? Generally, once a week is fine for everybody. I have some clients who are afraid to over exfoliate so they only do it once a month. Once a week is great as long as you're not using something too harsh. Um, if you're just using like an exfoliating cleanser or a scrub, once a week is great. And then maybe once a month do something a little deeper if you want. Um, but once a week is usually good. Some of my oily skin clients have to go twice a week depending on how their skin's feeling. When you do exfoliate, and this is the thing that people are afraid of, you know, they, they're afraid to over exfoliate so they don't, but what exfoliation does is it fluffs off the dead stuff off of your skin. And when you do that, remove that kind of crusty-ish, you can almost think of it as a crusty kind of layer, um, then the products that you use will penetrate better, right? So then your serums penetrate better, your moisturizer penetrates better. And when things can penetrate into the skin, they can work. If you've got a buildup of dead cells, that serum's got a lot to work through to get to where it needs to go in order to do its job. So exfoliation is great. Um, so go ahead, once a week. Okay, so serums. There are lots of products out there that have, that have active ingredients. Now serums ha have the most concentrated amounts of actives in them. So they're the most corrective of all the like serums, concentrates, and oils. Serums and booster serums are the most effective or the most um, co corrective. Now in the eminence world, theirs are, their serums and booster serums are water soluble and they penetrate the deepest. Concentrates are a hybrid of the two. So it's part serum, but in an oil. And the oils, the, the, they have small molecules to, to penetrate deeply, but they also contain an oil. Now for a lot of my oily skin clients, because they make a lot more oil than my drier skin clients, a lot of them can use a concentrate, one of the eminence concentrates, as their light moisturizer instead of a heavier moisturizer. And it worked great for them, then it's one step. Oils, oils are really protection for the barrier, right? Um, so you wanna always put your water soluble, so you would do your serum, booster serum first, then your concentrate, and then your oil on top. I even do oil on top of a moisturizer because the, the molecules of an oil are really large and they're just there to create a barrier to protect your skin, all right? And you can use them all. You just do it from thinnest to thickest. Masks. Um, some of my clients love masks and they have time for a mask. And a lot of my clients kind of skip this step because they don't have it. Masks are also treatments and they're also very corrective for the skin because they're specific to what it is that you want. So if you want hydration, it'll bring hydration to your skin. If you want anti-aging, it'll have anti-aging ingredients for your skin. Um, creamy uh, masks are great for massage, especially the eminence ones. I use the eminence masks for my facial massage. I don't do an oil or anything, but the masks are amazing for facial massage because then there's a really long period of time that I'm actually massaging everything in 
and the skin's got it on there for a long period of time. Um, gels are great if you remove them in the shower. You really can't wear them overnight because they get tacky. Um, the one thing I do love about the Eminence masks, pretty much all the creamy ones you can wear as an overnight treatment. The Eminence masks are very concentrated. They don't add water to anything, right? They don't make add any water to the manufacturer of that particular of their masks. So generally a nickel sized amount is fine. Nice thin layer, that's all you need. Leave it on for 10 minutes. But if you want to leave it on overnight, you take a fraction of that nickel, like a quarter of that nickel sized amount, add some water and mix it in, right, in your hands until it feels like a lotion. And then you apply it to your skin, I do face, neck, upper chest, and you go to sleep with it on, and then you just wash it off in the morning. I do that on my really lazy days when I don't wanna to have to go through my whole routine. But it's also nice to treat your skin um, overnight. Okay. <clears throat> oh, gosh, I have to go back to toners, holy cow. I have my, it went out of order. So going back to toners, sorry. Um, toners lock in moisture. The difference between, oh gosh, a toner, because Evidence has this new um, essence. I'm sorry, we have to backtrack a little bit. So toners are great. They're thinner, you can spray them on. Their, Evidence has come out with an essence that is a hybrid between a toner and a serum. So it's got a little more viscosity to it, right? I love, love, love their essence. Um, so that's actually something that I've been recommending to my clients instead of a toner, because if you, especially if you have drier skin, because of, of the viscosity, but it just stays on and, and it hydrates and it's got all these wonderful ingredients in it. And, and being a hybrid, it's just like a two for one there. I knew I was gonna forget something. Okay. Do, 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 do. And, and we'll get into sunscreens later on. I all, you know, after you moisturize and you get through your routine, during the day, everybody should wear, be wearing a sunscreen. I personally wear sunscreen at least face, neck, upper chest, and don't forget the back of your neck, especially if you have shorter hair because the sun does shine and hit this part of your body. Um, one of my friends, he was faithful and diligent about putting sunscreen on his face, neck, and the front, and he never put it on the back of his neck. He ended up having some skin cancer show up on the back of his neck, so face, neck, back of the neck, upper chest, and every day. Um, I may not put it on my body, but I at least always put it on my face and my neck and my upper chest. And this is, this is a whole different conversation. So we're gonna get into sunscreen another time because we're gonna talk about kinds of sunscreen then. Um, and we'll talk about eye creams another time. So in terms of um, the Eminence line, I'm gonna break this portion down up into the products that are anti-aging because the line is so big. Then at least you'll know what their anti-aging products are and we can kind of divvy them up by collection. So every time a company puts out a new product, it's by collection. And when they say collection, it's because they have the same hero ingredient in them. And they're all related because of that, the hero ingredient in that particular collection. So, uh, the reason uh, we age, first of all, there's biological aging, right? And that's genetics. How, and I always tell my clients, look at your parents. How did, how is your mom's skin doing? How is your dad's skin doing? How is the skin and other family members doing? And then you'll be able to tell what's gonna to happen to you. Like my mom gets these hand dog gel, dog knife thing right there, and I know that's what I'm going looking at. And the creases here, and she gets them here. And she has lines on her forehead. So I know how I'm gonna age just by looking at her. Now 10% of that is genetic and biological. 
So you can be predisposed in any way depending, and I would say it's look at your parents and your grandparents. Now the other kind of aging is chronological aging, and that's part of what we're going to address in the order in which I give you the um, products that I'm going to talk about. So in your 20s, you have a reduction in water retention, so you get more dehydrated. In your 30s, it's a, you begin to have less collagen produced. In your 40s, there's a reduction of fat and the appearance of lines, dark spots, and loss of elasticity, which is, this is exactly what happened to me and what's continuing to happen, unfortunately. And in your 50s and older, you have a decrease in the production of your hormones when you hit menopause, and that causes dryness, thinning of the skin, and sensitivity. I actually have this guy that I'm trying to take care of. So I have a lot some of the hyperpigmentation and then I was a sun baby. You know, we went out without sunscreen when I was a kid. That was that era. So that's what happens with the chronological aging. So for each of these things that happens, you want to use a product at that time to support your skin so that you don't uh, age as much. You know, this is all about prevention. And the bigger part of aging is our environmental aging. It's UV exposure, smoking, pollution, mental and physical stress, poor nutrition, improper skincare, which is really why it's important to start something. Start taking care of your skin, even if it's just cleanse and moisturize and sunscreen, at least those things. Now there's another um, term that's been going around in the skincare industry, it's called inflammaging. Inflammaging is a combination of two words, inflammation and aging. So what it is, is a chronic activation of the immune system that results in a low grade chronic inflammation. And as we all know, chronic inflammation is never good for anybody. Um, there's, it just low level, because we do have inflammation especially in terms of wound healing that happens really quickly that helps everything to heal up but when it's consistent it's just not good for the body and what it does is it accelerates a process of biological aging and can worsen many age related diseases so your skincare routine is going to help prevent inflammation since most of it so since if not if 10 percent is biological and genetic then the rest of it 90 percent is environmental and what we're exposed to and what we put into our bodies and that we can control right and that's where skincare product and a good regimen comes into play now there's another um, another form of aging that occurs or something that that we all can also control and it's called glycation and I actually really didn't understand glycation um, for a while you know because I didn't see a lot of it 10 years ago, now that my clients are getting older then, and I have older clients coming in to see me, I'm seeing it more. So, it's uh, the glycation is the result of AGESs, and they can be found on the skin in the form of wrinkles, discoloration, decreased elasticity, and other visible signs of aging, right? So, I looked it up. AGEs are advanced glycation end products. And those are harmful compounds that are formed when protein or fat combine with sugar in the bloodstream. These compounds, they build up in the connective tissue and promote stiffness and loss of elasticity. And the human body does not recognize these AGSs as normal and they'll produce antibodies that cause inflammation in the skin. AGESs tend to gravitate to dermal collagen and elastin. So they go deep into the skin and that's where those deep wrinkles happen. Um, the more sugar you eat, processed or natural, the more AGESs are produced. So that's where diet comes into play. So I know I have a lot of clients who just love sugar and right now when you're young, it might be fine, but AGESs build up as you get older to the point where so much of it is attached to the dermal collagen and the dermal elastin that it causes an issue, it causes those wrinkles and the deep wrinkling and loss of elasticity in the skin. 
So diet is super duper important, but there are also skincare products that, that can help with glycation and the low level, low grade inflammation that comes along with it. So Eminence has their aging, anti-aging collections, and we're going to start from your 20s. So in terms, when you're young, you want to start preventing um, aging. So we want to also, antioxidants are actually really good for this. So this is the first collection. This is, and I'm sorry it's backwards, but this is the only way I can see what I'm doing. Um, this is the Youth Shield collection. The Youth Shield collection has the red current mattifying mist for hydration, the red current exfoliating cleanser to cleanse with, and it's got some olive pit in it, like finely ground, so it does a little exfoliation, and it's foamy. The red current moisturizer is their SPF, and that protects against, so this whole collection protects against the early signs of aging. And this is for normal to combination skin types. I wouldn't suggest this for someone who has dry skin. The hero ingredient in this line, in this particular collection, forgive me, is microencapsulated tea tree oil and has a sustained delete, release delivery. It's antifungal, antiseptic, anti-inflammatory, anti and it also has antiviral properties, the tea tree. And it also has a youth shield antioxidant complex. It's got red currant, elderflower, and magnolia bark. So antioxidants really help with prevention. The antioxidants in our bodies in general, it, with food intake, help prevent free radicals from forming. And those free radicals can also cause inflammation as well. And um, so this is if you're in your 20s and you just, because generally when you're in your 20s, you end up with some breakout activity anyway. So that's where the microencapsulated tea tree oil helps because it's released very slowly and gradually. So this would be if you're in your 20s. Now for, and this is my rep actually organized this and it's actually really well done, right? Um, so we're gonna kind of, kind of take a little sidestep into the world of environmental aging. And this is their, one of their newer collections. It's their Microgreens Detox Collection. It has the Stonecrop Cleansing Oil, which I mentioned before, I love it. The Stonecrop Oxygenating Physifoliant and the Lotus Detoxifying Overnight Treatment. And this is for all skin types and for pollution protection because of what we're exposed to daily when we go out and even indoor pollution as well. So the hero ingredients in this line are stone crop, which are, is healing, hydrating, and brightening, and it has a detoxifying microgreens complex. It's got broccoli, radish, clover, Swiss crest, Swiss crest sprouts, and those increase the production of enzymes that help the skin cells combat the damaging effects of pollution. It also has jojoba oil, which is the closest to the skin's natural sebum and has one of the best absorption rates. So the stone crop oil is great for a first cleanse. It's, it cleans really nicely. And that's really what you want is you want it every night. Wash the day off of your face. And that's why you'll be washing all the pollution from when you're outside, you'll be washing off the makeup. I had some clients who were doing the opposite and, and washing before in the morning. But when you're out, you think of your skin as like a magnet and things are attracted to it. Dirt, dirt, pollution, particulate matter, viruses, bacteria, all this stuff your skin is exposed to is sticking to your skin, so you really wanna wash that off at night. And this is a great first cleanse, or for me, I use it as my only cleanse. The Fizzofoliant is an alkaline powder, so it's got a little baking soda in it, and it's better for normal to dry skin, but I've had my um, clients with dry skin use it. Um, because it detoxifies so it'll you put a little powder in your hand and it'll fizz up on your skin and you can massage it so it does have some exfoliating action it just isn't all that gritty and the lotus is just a nice light textured cream that you just wear overnight and that oxygenates the skin which is awesome the next um, collection and this is one of their newer ones as well this came with after the um, detoxifying. This is the Pure Forest collection. 
The Pure Forest Collection has the Birch Water Purifying Essence. It's Eminence's only F essence. And this is the one that's in between, a hybrid between a serum and a toner. And all in the collection is also Snow Mushroom Moisture Cloud Eye Cream and the Snow Mushroom Reishi Mask. This is for all skin types and this is to hydrate and repair the skin. Let's see if I have it here. Whoops, there it is. Um, the hero ingredients in these products are Snow Mushroom, and surprisingly, snow mushroom holds 500 times its weight in water and has a small molecule size, which means better absorption. So it's almost more hydrating than hyaluronic acid. Oh, actually, no, hyaluronic acid holds a thousand times its weight, but this is pretty darn good, 500 times its weight. And there's also birch water in this, which is a powerhouse sap. It contains electrolytes, flavonoids, amino, amino acids, proteins, enzymes, and vitamins and it infuses nutrients and hydration into the skin. Then there's the reishi mushroom that blocks the enzyme that activates the skin's immune response. So the skin isn't just jumping on to fight things, it's just kind of moderating that. So it's rich in beneficial sugars and helps the skin to absorb and retain water. Now the birch water purifying essence contains the botanical collagen, it also is that hybrid between hydrating mist and a serum. It has essential oils of cinnamon, clary sage, and bergamot, and basil. And what this um, particular essence does is it helps everything else you use, draw, use to come into the skin more deeply. So I've done it after cleansing, but you can also do it after serum, so it draws that serum in more deeply. The Snow Mushroom and Reishi Mask is actually in a clay base clay and shea butter so everyone can use it. Um, I often for my oily skin clients have them use it because it's super hydrating to the skin but it's not too oily and it does have some of the clay to draw some impurities out too. So deep puffs, con um, contours and tightens and the I love the Snow Mushroom Moisture Cloud Eye Cream. It is the only creamy eye cream that I can use that doesn't cause milia around my eyes because it does have a snow mushroom in it, so it's hydrating, plus it's also moisturizing. The next one in the line, this was Mangosteen. This is the complete Mangosteen line because they had come out with some and then they came out with a few more items in this line. This was like the last launch before Gemstone. This is the Mangosteen Bliss Collection. In this collection are the Mangosteen Daily Resurfacing Cleanser, Mangosteen Revitalizing Mist, the Daily Resurfacing Concentrate, the Gel Moisturizer, Body Lotion, and Hand Cream. This is good for all skin types, and for most of the products, it's great for gentle resurfacing with age protection. So the hero ingredients in this line are Mangosteen, that reduces inflammation and increases microcirculation to reduce visible redness in the skin. It also has a lactic acid complex in it and that gently resurfaces and refines the pores. So in that lactic acid complex are lactic acid, it's a gentle alpha hydroxy acid that renews the dead skin. And of the alpha hydroxy acids, um, lactic acid gives the most. It gives more than it takes. So it does exfoliate the skin, but it also is very hydrating to the skin, so it's good for hydration as well. The red clover flower extract balances sebum production refines, minimizes pore size, and ribose stimulates the production of new skin cells, promotes collagen elastin, and it has, and hyaluronic acid. So I love this line. Um, just, oh, just an FYI, the mist and the gel moisturizer do not have lactic acid in it. The other products, the um, daily resurfacing cleanser, the daily resurfacing concentrate, the body lotion and hand cream have 3% of lactic acid in them. So those are the only exfoliating products. And um, this is, I use this every day. I don't use, because I don't want to exfoliate every day. I just use the Mangosteen Gel Moisturizer and I'll take a little bit of that and add it to my regular moisturizer to help minimize the pores on my skin. And I've noticed a difference in the pore size in my skin just using the moisturizer. The moisturizer itself is a little light for me because I have drier skin. That's why I add it to my moisturizer. And 
the Mangosteen Daily Resurfacing Cleanser does not have any exfoliating scrub. It's not a scrub, it's just a cleanser with the lactic acid and it does a nice job of exfoliating. For my clients who don't want to exfoliate or just can't even think of a time or a day that they can exfoliate, I have them use this line. I'll have them use the Daily Resurfacing Cleanser because it will exfoliate a little bit every day as opposed to doing one bigger exfoliation that they're going to have to try to remember once a week. So this is really handy for them. Um, and then too, you can also use the daily resurfacing, resurfacing concentrate for hydration and for a little exfoliation. Um, I would do that at night as a treatment. Okay, Evidence has two different oils in their collection. The first one is the facial recovery oil. This recovery oil is part of the biodynamic line. And that is something we'll have to address at another time because it's quite a large line. It's great for sensitive skin and it's biodynamic on the Demeter scale. It's not like USDA. It's, it's a higher European scale of, of or being organic. Um, it is a barrier protector with healing properties and it's great for all skin types. I generally, recommend this to my clients who have acneic skin because it is lighter and it does have ingredients to help with um, clearing acne up. So it does have clary sage oil. It's antiseptic, calming, balances oil production and boosts cell regeneration. It does have sesame oil. It's nourishing, anti-inflammatory and strengthens connective tissues and is great for, if this is great for dry skin, I personally think it's not as um, rich as I would want it to be. Sesame oil also has zinc in it, and zinc is healing for the skin. Tea, it also has tea tree oil in it, so it's soothing, anti-inflammatory, repairing, and antiseptic. I often have my clients take these oils. You can apply it to the skin as your last step, or you can add it to your moisturizer, and then you're doing one thing, like moisturizer, oil, together, on, done. The other oil that I recommend to my clients with dry skin is the Rosehip Triple C and D Firming Oil. Um, for more drier skins, and this particular one is antioxidant barrier repair and it's glycation protection. Remember we just talked about glycation and how awful it is for the skin. Well this is for glycation protection and I would suggest this for my older clients or even my clients who have dry skin who need extra barrier protection. So the hero ingredients in this are rosehip oil, supplies vitamin C, reduces inflammation and irritation. Jojoba oil supports barrier function. And remember, it is closest to the net skin's natural sebum. It's a wax, so generally people are not allergic to this to jojoba oil. It also has sea buckthorn oil, which protects the skin cell membrane and enhances cell skin cell rege regeneration. It has rosemary, which is the anti-glycation product uh, ingredient. It is has protection, it protects the collagen and elastin fibers, sorry, tongue tied. It is anti-glycation. It's protection of collagen and elastin fibers by decreasing the AGEs, the um, advanced glycation end products. So it decreases those in the skin. So this is great for that, for that kind of aging. It also has milk thistle, which contains silymarin, a polyphenol that inhibits lipid per peroxidation and inflammation. So I had to look that one up. Polyphenols are antioxidants that can help repair and rejuvenate the skin. And lipid peroxidation, it's when it's an oxidative degradation of lipids. So it's when the lipids degrade by oxidation. And because we're oxygen using beings, we oxidize and that's why we need um, um, antioxidants to counter that. So it, so when you have a situation or a cascade of free radicals, that attack the skin or, it, or any cell. What the free radical does is it's un, an unstable molecule. It doesn't have enough electrons in it. So because it's unstable, it's gonna steal electrons from other cells around it. And that causes, from other cell membranes, and that causes cell damage to those cells. So an antioxidant has enough electrons to give to everybody, right, so that it, no, so that there's nothing for the free radical to take. 
because it's going to get it from the antioxidant. And by doing that, you stop the cascade. So important to eat antioxidants and also important to put them on your skin. The next collection is the Strawberry Rhubarb Collection. This is actually an older collection. This is, came around when I first started with Eminence. Um, and this is for hydration for early signs of aging. And in this collection are Strawberry Rhubarb derm Dermafoliant, Strawberry Rhubarb Hyaluronic Serum, and the Strawberry Rhubarb Mask. Love all of these. The hero ingredients in this collection are strawberry. It's astringent and it contains salicylic acid that cleanses, gently exfoliates, and removes impurities to brighten and shrink pores. Rhubarb heals and provides vitamins B and C and botanical hyaluronic acid. If that deeply hydrates and plumps to reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. Oftentimes when my clients say they've got oh, fine lines and wrinkles, most of the time they're looking more dehydrated than dry. And if you plump up the skin and you give, because you remember in your 20s, you start to lose hydration in the skin, right? If you can put that back topically, then it'll plump out those fine lines and wrinkles. Now, I love the strawberry rhubarb dermafoliant. It does have a little bit of lactic acid in it and it has rice powder. So this is more exfoliating than the physifoliant. So I suggest this for my clients and you can use it many ways. I actually have to do a video on this. But the easiest way to use the dermafoliant is a little bit into your cleanser and then you just mix it together and you power cleanse. And then it kind of takes the edge off the grittiness and buffers it a little bit so it's not too much for sensitive skin. Um, some of my clients use it straight uh, without using the um, cleanser, but for my clients who don't have time, you do both at the same time. So that's awesome. The next collection is uh, the Firm Skin Collection and it is part of the Vita Skin Collection. This is for all skin types. Whoops, there we go. And it's for early to moderate aging. Hero ingredients in this are acai berry, that's antioxidant, regenerates and tightens, by botanical hyaluronic acid, it's deeply hydrating and smooths and plumps the skin, and it's from marshmallow plant extract. Blueberries, it's antioxidant and nutrient and stabilizes the collagen matrix. And homeostatin, it prevents dehydration, reduces wrinkle depth, and provides antioxidant protection. The other ingredient in especially the, I think the mask and the moisturizer is Zero Firm. It firms the skin. So actually it's in the Firm Skin Booster Serum. It firms and lifts the skin. Now the products in this collection are the Firm Skin Cleanser Exfoliating Heal, the Firm Skin Booster Serum, the Firm Skin Booster Mask, and the Firm Skin Moisturizer. Sorry I didn't say that before. I find in this line, I love the moisturizer. I oftentimes give, uh, recommend that to my clients who don't have the time to do like a hyaluronic acid serum and then the moisturizer because it's in the moisturizer. So it's one thing they put on. The Firm Skin Booster Serum is the most, like Eminence's booster serums are the most versatile of all the products they have. Because you, you can take a drop or two of that serum put it into any moisturizer. You can put it into any mask and you can put it into, um, just put it on by itself. And it makes anything you want it to be firming and hydrating, right? So it's, of, of the serums, it is the most versatile because you can add it to everything pretty much and use it by itself. The next part of the line of, is the Age Corrective Collection, and this is for aging skin. This is someone actually in their 40s, normal, who is normal to dry. Now, I have some clients that can use the um, concentrate, so we, we can figure out how we can fit this into your, your regimen. So in this collection are the Manoy Age Corrective Exfoliating Cleanser, the Neroli Hydrating Mist, Bamboo Firming Fluid, Bamboo Mask, Coconut Moisturizer, Neroli Eye Serum, and the Coconut Body Lotion. The hero ingredients in this particular line are bamboo, it has silica, 
and strengthen, strengthens the skin and improves elasticity. Natural retinol alternative contains chicory root and tara tree, which triggers collagen without exfoliation. So this really, the natural retinol alternative is the um, ingredient that ties all of this together. It also has phytocell tech, Swiss green apple. It's a plant stem cell concentrate that energizes the cells for regeneration. Neroli oil, which is bitter orange, it regenerates and hydrates. Virgin coconut oil is antibacterial, antiviral, it heals and moisturizes. So a lot of times my clients will ask me, is there retinol in it? Because it says it has a natural retinol, so they assume it has retinol in it. It does not have retinol in it. The natural retinol alternative is the ingredient that uh, helps the skin produce more collagen and elastin, elastin like a retinol, but without the side effects. So you can go out in the sun with it. Um, it doesn't thin the skin. It doesn't make you photosensitive. So you get all the benefit of a retinol without the side effects. And for my clients who have um, really oily skin or oilier skin, I've recommended the Neroli Age Corrective Hydrating Mist. It's super hydrating and it has a retinol alternative in it. So that's one of the few um, mists that they do have that is anti-aging. And I love the bamboo firming fluid for my clients who are on the oilier side. Uh, a lot of my oilier clients love it as just their light moisturizer. Then you can actually fit that in. And even the Neroli Age Corrective Eye Serum is not, it's not a super heavy um, cream. It's more lotion-y in consistency, so that's great. And even the Bamboo Age Corrective Mask. It is a creamy mask, but it also has some kaolin in it. So it's not overly creamy. So even my clients with um, oilier skin can use that as well. So this particular line collection, actually, no, you see, and we're gonna focus on this, the Arctic Berry Peptide Radiance Cream. I really love this. It comes in a two ounce jar or it comes in this set here. And it, that would be with the enzyme exfoliator, the Arctic Berry activator, and then a small tube of the um, Arctic Berry Peptide Cream. So this is like picture wise way bigger than the product it really is. But we're gonna focus on this. Um, it's for all skin types and it's collagen boosting and regenerative. So the hero ingredients in this are the peptide illuminating complex. So that's anti-aging, increases collagen production, soothes inflammation and improves skin tone and elasticity. Arctic plants and berries effectively protect against environmental factors, anti-aging and it reduces inflammation and slows oxidation. I love this cream because it's super light. It's for all skin types. It was made for all skin types. So it's more of a gel type moisturizer. Um, that even my oily skin clients can use. For my oily skin clients who don't want to do a serum and a moisturizer, I have them use just this because it's light enough for them to use without feeling oily. For someone like me who has drier skin, I'll apply that, the uh, Arctic Berry Peptide Radiance Cream, which I, I think I want to go back to, and then I'll layer a moisturizer or an oil on top. The next collection is the Marine Flower Collection. And in this collection are the uh, Marine Flower Peptide Serum, the Marine Flower Peptide Eye Cream, which has hyaluronic acid in it. This is for all skin types. It's age correcting and preventing. So the hero ingredients in this collection are the Smart Collagen Complex. It's a botanical collagen from bulbine leaf extract and algae extract. And it boosts the production of high quality collagen. It inhibits the breakdown of collagen and hyaluronic acid. So remember, as you get older, you're not making as much of anything. Like two things happen, you slow down and you dry up. So this helps boost that. It also has natural peptides from hydrolyzed rice protein that encourages healthy skin turnover, stimulating new collagen. It has blue green algae extract, which is a natural retinoid alternative that reduces wrinkles without the side effects. And it also has red algae extract, has high concentrations of vitamins, minerals, amino acids. It conditions and protects 
again, the skin against uh, photo aging. So this is a really nice, uh, like in fact, a lot of my clients really love the marine peptide um, flower serum a lot. So that is a serum that is water soluble that you'll apply in the skin after cleansing. And you can layer your birch water over that. And it's good for, I would use it for all skin types because it's age correcting and preventing. Um, and it's what it's about, right, is prevention. Because as we said before, 10% is biological, 90% is environmental. So you wanna protect your skin by using topical products so that you don't, your skin doesn't age as quickly. This is the collection, Whoop. is the Age Corrective Night Collection. And this is for advanced aging because as you get older, you start to lose uh, the fat pads around in your face. And that's what makes people look a little gaunt and hollowed. Um, this is for a good for normal to dry skin. It's pretty rich. So drier skin better is better. It, in this collection are the Lavender Age Corrective Night Concentrate, which is, remember, concentrates the most corrective. The Manoi Age Corrective Night Cream is oil-based, and the Lavender Age Corrective Night Eye Cream, and the Manoi Age Corrective Body Cream. The hero ingredients in this collection are lavender. It's anti-irritant, -irritan calms and rejuvenates and restores the skin. Manoi, is coconut Tahitian oil that hydrates and firms the skin. And the really stellar star hero uh, ingredient is the anti-aging stem cell complex. It has argan stem cells and nutmeg seed. And this plumps up the fat cells and improves the density and acts as a natural filler to smooth wrinkles from the inside out. And that's why this is great for advanced aging skin. It also has evening primrose oil, which is soothing, anti-inflammatory, calming, and restorative. So this one, I even for my super dry skin clients, I'll, I'll have them use this because it's one of the heaviest moisturizers um, in the collection. And even for my others, you know, the concentrates are always also always good for my clients who have oilier skin and don't want to use a super heavy moisturizer, but they still want anti-aging then I would give my client the lavender um, concentrate from this collection. And last but not least, oh my goodness, that was a lot, uh, is the Age Corrective Ultra. And again, this is not to scale. These were just pictures that I had that I was able to find. And this is for all skin types and it gives instant results. The products in this collection are the Hibiscus Ultra Lift Eye, which has caffeine and green algae in it. And it has a roller ball, as you can see, this rollerball applicator. And the hibiscus instant line filler, filler has the volume form in it. It repairs tissues and lifts vital proteins, uh, fills wrinkles internally by plumping, and that would be this one here. And the hibiscus neck cream, it has edelweiss, it tightens, lifts, and lifts sagging skin, smooths wrinkles, and acacia. It's moisturizing, firming, tightening, and reduces wrinkles and smooths the skin. So the hero ingredients in this line are Hibiscus, it increases skin elasticity, moisturizes, it's rich to keep skin hydrated and supple. It has ice wine active that lifts and tightens the skin and instantly smooths wrinkles. And stevia extract, it minimizes stress-induced muscle contractions. So it's like Botoxy in effect when you're starting to limit stress, when you minimize contractions, that's kind of a Botox-like effect and it decreases um, wrinkle depth and increases hydration. So let me go back. It, in the way it minimizes the stress-induced muscle reactions, because those muscle reactions cause those wrinkles to form. So if you can see here, all right, the little guys right there, it's because when I, when I think I'm always activating this and the skin is the, the skin on the face is the only place where the muscle is directly attached to the skin. Because the muscle is directly attached to the skin in the face, every right, expression you make consistently can cause those wrinkles. So the stevia helps to minimize the contraction so that you're not creating those creases. And that was a lot. That pretty much is all of Eminence's 
anti-aging collection. Um, and these would be things that you would look at if that is a concern of yours. Um, you don't have to stick to just one collection. And this is kind of tying things all up. If um, you want a retinol alternative, right, you can use the bamboo firming to have that ingredient, the natural retinol alternative. You can use the, the um, marine flower peptide if you want a water soluble uh, serum that penetrates more deeply. So depending on what's in there, and because the collections are so big and they're so versatile, you can use a serum from one, a concentrate from another, and a moisturizer from another. You can use a cleanser from another, but if you really want the action of the ingredients, it's better to stick to the serums, the concentrates, and even the moisturizers. Because a cleanser, when you massage it in, it, you're just gonna rinse it off. So for in terms of cleansers, I would just do the stone crop oil. Um, and in terms of pollution protection, you can use the birch water. Right? So there's so many different combinations and ways you can take these, all of these collections and make yourself a really well-rounded regimen. Um, and it, that was a lot, right? It was a lot. And Eminence, it's a huge line and that's why it was broken down this way. And I actually have other, there are other products that I want to break down too. Um, this was a lot of information. If you have any questions or if you need suggestions on how to put things together, you can just comment uh, on the video and I'll get back to you or I'll even try to put my email into my into the description on this. Um, evidence during this time because we're still in this time of the pandemic and being in California in Los Angeles in particular, I'm not allowed to work yet. Evidence was kind enough to create an affiliate link for me. So you can order from that link any Eminence products and it comes directly from the company and there's no shipping in the United States. So you can only order in the United States. Internationally, they, they won't ship internationally at all. But in the US, you can order from my affiliate link with free shipping um, if you need uh, some advice or you're still not clear on the anti-aging ingredients. I can go over that with you uh, via email um, and contact you that way. Uh, the line is really amazing and I hope that this helped a little bit because looking at it on the website can be very confusing and that's it was that way for a lot of my clients. And at least now you can see how the collections come together and you see the, the separation of the collections and how you can possibly draw and pull what you need from each collection because you don't have to use only that collection. You can, you know, use different things from all of the collections to create something for yourself that's perfect for you. So this was really long and longer than I thought it would be, but that was a lot of information. Again, I'll put uh, my information and my affiliate link in the description. I hope this helped you some. Um, but there was really no other way for me to break it down because anti-aging is a big grouping. Uh, so have a great day. I hope you can sit through this. I know it was really long and my apologies. Um, but um, yeah, at least now you've got the skinny on all those anti-aging collections so you can make some decisions for yourself on what you need and want. Hope you're all doing well. Take care and I will see you soon because I need to make a few more videos. Take care, bye.